Hello and welcome to the Juniper Network's video demo for VMware View. I'm your host, Kevin Fletcher. I'm going to start off with a few definitions on VMware View Connection Server. I'm not going to go through them now. You can pause this and read through them later. Here we start off by logging into the Juniper Network's SSL VPN. Now, once we're logged in, you'll notice there's a new set of menus here at the bottom called Virtual Desktops. And in here, we've configured the VCS connection server, and that's created a VMware VDI bookmark for us. We can even refresh it. And here, we'll just launch this. Now, you'll see we've delivered the view client on the fly, and it's been invoked. And here it is. It's a little large, so I'm going to have to shrink it down. Uh, it's because my desktop is so large. The VMware View Client is version 3.1. You'll see here. And you can also like switch desktops and reset it and log off and that sort of thing. So, Anyways, we'll go ahead and log off here. And now let's take a look at the VMware View Administration Portal. Again, this is VMware View 3.1. Go ahead and log in. We do have domain authentication for administrators. Okay, so pretty much everything in here revolves around the view pool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you all the settings here and entitlements. So this is a manual desktop. This is non-persistent VMs so that they don't change. These are VMs managed by my virtual center server. This is just an ID. Okay, here's some of the options for the pool servers. Most particularly, the VM not being in use, you can leave it on or suspend it. You can also log users off immediately when they disconnect or leave them logged in so that they can come back and rejoin their old session. Now, VMware has a new protocol coming out called PC over IP. Right now, all they support is RDP, though, and that'll be out later this year. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the pool settings take a look at entitlements here. Uh, I basically just said any domain user is allowed to use this pool. Um, this is a pretty slick interface here. You can actually dynamically pull up all of your users from Active Directory. So that made it really easy to kind of point and click and uh, enable entitlements. The entitlements here is really just another view. Okay, the desktop sources is really uh, the backend infrastructure piece, so you can choose to add VMs here. Uh, the adding is done through Virtual Center since I've enabled it through Virtual Center, and this is really nice. It connects to Virtual Center and automatically pulls in the list of VMs. Uh, and if we had any active sessions, you could kind of see what you can do here. You can disconnect them, log them off, reset their machine, that sort of thing. The policies are really just for these two features. You can override these here. You can also override them on a particular user. And even the SA can also override them, which you'll see a little later. Again, the users and groups is really just another view of the users and their entitlements. OK, let's look at the actual VMware View server configuration. Here's the licenses and some of the usage counters. Okay, my view servers here, my virtual center server is configured here. Basically just punch in the settings here and it connects. There's a few advanced settings here as well. The view security server is not actually needed because we are front ending this with an SL VPN. And lastly, the main view server itself, there's a few options here. Um, direct connect is enabled. You can do smart cards. You can even do RSA secure ID and um, there's some options to do some backups, uh, some frequency and things like that. And you can look at the events log here. Basically just kind of shows you everything going on for users and administrators. Quite a bit of detail here about VM allocations and things like that. Well, let me show you um, the admin configuration here. Again, I mentioned this is built-in domain controller admin and again you can just kind of pull it up here there are some basic global settings that you can set here as well 
some pre-login message warning things like that using SSL all right so again this is VMware view server 3.1 that's pretty much all there is to it very simple product now let's take a look at the SSL VPN admin GUI this is IV 6.5 R1 this is the latest release so it came out just a couple weeks ago you notice here in resource profiles there's a new menu item called virtual desktops and when you create a new profile you can choose from Citrix or VMware and we've created a new VMware view connection server resource profile right here basically just plug in the settings for the view connection server and uh, if you want to use uh, SSO you can plug that in here as well choose the roles as you go through the resource profile wizard and then the bookmark gets created now the bookmark actually has quite a few other settings so you should come in here um, single sign-on can be enabled or disabled here you can modify the screen size one really cool feature here is it supports multiple windows which is really slick um, of course you're going to allow um, or disable and override the options for USB and MMR and that's really all there is to it very simple setup on the SLVPN end again this is IV 6.5 R1 which came out just here recently and that's all there is to it so I hope you enjoyed our video demo for more information please visit us on the web at www.juniper.net thanks